I think that art and eating establishments are a, a great mix. Um, I tended to, I, I, I started the bar series when I came down to Soho in 75 and I walked into the Broom Street Bar. The painting of the Broom Street Bar, it's probably more German expressionist than anything I've done. The bar bought it and I got plenty of free drinks. Which I don't think I did it precisely to get free drinks, but I, it, it wasn't a bad, you know. So then I did, um, you know, they, they made a poster and the poster became a pretty uh, good selling item. So I made money from that. So the association never, it, it just made sense to me. I, I spent a lot of time in bars and um, so then I, then I, I think I got a commission to do another bar, but in general, I just did them um, as a, again, as a vehicle to express other things. And a lot of them are, are political, like with the All-American Bar. Okay, I can bring out the aspect of a redneck, you know, a group of redneck people, which became political because I did it in red, white, and blue. So politics comes in that way, but it's only part of the uh, part of my art. You're much more apt to get into a conversation, interesting conversation, at a bar than you would be at a museum. It's a great place to, uh, you know, to converse with people. And then if you then translate it into paint, I guess it's just a, uh, again, a good vehicle to express other things as well as just, you know, a lot of what goes on in, in New York.